So when I'm talking about credit cards, lately I've been very vocal about wanting to have more things to actually look forward to in life. That being vacations that I can look forward to every single year and probably at the same time every year if I want to through hotel credit card, free night certificates. Oof. You love to hear it. Well, with life moving just <laughs> incredibly fast and honestly way too fast than I would like to admit, and forgetting to pencil in time for time away, just using all of the points and the free nights that we've accumulated over the years just by getting into the points and miles credit card churning game in the first place, right? And I've just found personally that when I had a credit card that I knew I had a guaranteed vacation for, or if I earned a free night certificate that I knew I was able to use within that year, it got me really excited. And I was like, oh, what am I going to use it on this time? You know, am I going to use it here, use it there, which is really exciting for me and hopefully for you too. Like my yearly Valentine's at the, well... I can't tell you the best kept secret in the South, right? I mean, I'll, but I'll just say that I use my Platinum FHR credit for it and it's very romantic. Very romantic. Anyway, that led me to think like, hey, how many different hotel credit cards are out there that actually offer a free night certificate as not only just a bonus, but also an anniversary gift that you get every single year just by keeping this card open. And that's why today we're going to go over the top, uh, I don't have that many fingers, but 13 credit cards, hotel credit cards that actually offer not only just a sign up bonus for free night certificates, but it's just a part of the benefits that come with the credit card. So you get a free night certificate every single year that you keep the card open. So... Let's get into all 13 of them. So number one is the Wyndham Earner and the Wyndham Earner Plus credit cards. So just the typical earner credit card has a $0 annual fee and you're going to be getting a bonus of 45,000 points, which they say is enough for up to six free nights. And that's after spending $1,000 in the first 30 days of purchases. However, they do let you know that free nights can require up to 30,000 points per bedroom at their properties, etc. So, so I guess they could be worth anywhere between 8,000 and 30,000 for their, their nights there, but you know, we'll... we'll We'll see. So now you might be saying like, wait a second, Anthony, this $0 annual fee one does not come with a free night certificate, right? So like, what, what are we doing here? Is this a jip? And the reason we added it in is because they do have a bonus right here, an annual bonus of 7,500 bonus points each anniversary year if you spend $15,000 on eligible purchases, which is enough for one free night every single year. Do I think that's the greatest? Not at all. Not at all. So let's move on. So now if we're looking at the Earner Plus Rewards credit card, this is a card that's going to be giving you 75,000 bonus points, which they say is enough for 10 free nights. If you just spend $1,000 in the first 90 days, so the same sign up bonus right there. But here is where the card gets a little bit different. If you look right here, the anniversary bonus on this card is 7,500 bonus points each anniversary year after you just pay the annual fee. So that essentially means you pay that annual fee, which is, which is $75, which is the lowest paid annual fee that we'll have on our list today. Every single single time you pay that $75, you're going to be getting 7,500 bonus points, which would equal a free night. So AKA a free night certificate every single year, just by keeping this card open. He just stung. I, it looks like he's stung and then it came out of his thorax. Yeah. B just tried to sting me. That's what happened. And he hit the glass and he failed. That's right, Tesla's the best. Oh, honey, it was made by bees. Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, so for the second card on our list, which again, it's a little lackluster, but of course we're moving up the annual fee credit card tier list here, right? So number two is the Best Western Rewards Premium MasterCard. And this is a card that's going to be giving you 80,000 points when you spend 3,000 in the first three months of opening the card, which they say is earning up to about seven free nights. And the way this card works is that every $5,000 that you spend every 12 months, you're going to be getting 40,000 points. And as near as I can tell, it seems like most Best Westerns are like 15 to 20,000 per night, probably sometimes a little less or a little more, but that would probably give you about two free nights every single year, every single time you spend 5,000. And the annual fee on this credit card is $89. I know. It's weird. It's a weird number for an annual fee, but $89 every single year to keep this card open. So actually, oddly enough, for number three, we're going back to Wyndham, but in this case, it's going to be the Wyndham Earner Business Credit Card. This credit card has an annual fee of $95. This credit card is giving you 50,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first three months, and then an additional 25,000 points after spending $10,000 within the first 12 months. So basically, you're spending $13,000 and you'll get 10 free nights around about around there. So that that's kind of what their bonus is. But the one thing that I found a little bit better on this credit card is like I said, it is a $95 annual fee, but it's actually going to be giving you an anniversary bonus of 15,000 Wyndham points 
every single year you keep the card open, which again could be used for probably two free nights. So essentially getting two free night certificates every single year, as long as you just pay that $95 annual fee every single year. So let me know in the comments below, are you guys interested in Wyndham Properties at all? Let me know if anybody stayed there. I really don't have much experience with them. Is this a card that you would think about getting? Now the fourth card on the list is one that I personally am really interested in, one I actually want to get very, very soon, but that's being the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless chase credit card. So this is a credit card that is going to be giving you up to 125,000 bonus points. That's 75,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first six months. So pretty charitable there. And for an annual fee of just $95 every single year. And this is a card that really hits home for me because if you look right here, it says you're going to be getting a one free night award every single year after Note here it says after. So if you pay your $95 annual fee, you will not get the free night award until after a year of holding this card. So it's right now it's 2023. Okay, 2024 is when I'm going to get my free night certificate every single year after your card account anniversary. And you can look right here and it says it could be used for a one night redemption at a 35,000. So that's kind of limit right there. So it's capped at 35,000 every single night. However, if you did want to stay at a property that was a little bit more, you could actually add up to 15,000 points to that free night certificate and get a stay that's worth 50,000 points. So that's the cap 50,000 if you want to use the certificate and add your own 15,000 thousand points or if you don't want to add anything to it then you're capped at 35,000 point properties every single time you use the free night certificate and uh, I know exactly where I would use that for the first time ever I know it's definitely going to be at the Bohemian in Greenville it's not super far from me and it's one of the most insane Marriott properties in the entire world I think so that's somewhere I would stay and I think it's only like 20,000 a night to stay there so I, I would definitely use it and also you're going to be getting 15 elite night credits this is going to be used towards statuses if you want to hit elite status but for some of us we already have the Amex Platinum card, which are kind of already gives us gold elite status with Marriott properties without having to hit any elite knights. And then for holding this card, you're going to be getting guaranteed silver elite status anyway, which comes with its own slew of benefits. So it's actually a fairly interesting card, one that I actually really want to get going forward. And that's, it's exciting. I honestly should just get it right away, but I'm, I'm still in, I'm still in 524 prison, man. Still trying to get out. And one thing I learned from Stan recently in his video talking about free night certificates and Marriott properties specifically, that if you get the Chase Co. branded Marriott credit card and you get that sign up bonus, it actually disallows you to get the Amex Co. branded Marriott credit card sign up bonus for the following two years. So if you get the Chase one, you can't get the bonus on the Amex one for two years and vice versa. So something to know and something I found fairly interesting. Number five is a card, again, I've been very vocal about, one that I definitely want to add to my list as soon as I'm under 524. Man, why do all these good free night certificate cards got to come with Chase, man? Come on. None other than the hotel brand that everybody loves to talk about right now. It's, of course... The World of Hyatt credit card. This is a credit card that's going to be giving you 60,000 bonus points. That's going to be 30,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first three months from account opening, plus an additional 30,000 points by earning two bonus points total per dollar spent in the first six months from account opening, which ends up being $15,000 worth of spend to be able to hit that 30,000 extra points, which they mention is enough for three nights. But I can honestly say from personal experience that if I had 60,000 World of Hyatt points, I could probably squeeze four to five nights from that at really nice properties. And if I really go for like kind of the lower end, ones that are like 35K a night, I mean, forget it. That's like almost 20 nights. So it's, it could be very variable for the World of Hyatt hotel program. This is a credit card that has a $95 annual fee and some bonuses that include Nine points per dollar spent on all Hyatt stays. Two points per dollar spent on all dining out at restaurants. Two points per dollar spent on all flights. Two points per dollar spent on gym memberships. And then two points per dollar spent on getting around, <laughs> which is taxis, transit, tolls, rideshare services. And then two points per dollar spent everywhere else. So honestly, if you're a Hyatt loyalist, you're somebody that really likes Hyatt hotels, you, you might just make this your catch-all credit card. I mean, it earns a lot of different categories. Even myself, when I get this credit card, I'm probably going to move all of my gym memberships over to this credit card because I'm just earning one point per dollar spend on everything else there. A pretty powerful card, and really the, the main, main power of this credit card is it's coming with one free night certificate every single year that could be used at a category one to four Hyatt Hotel every single year that you keep the card open and keep paying that $95 annual fee. So, and then also you can get another free night every single year as long as you spend $15,000 in a calendar year on that said credit card. So if you spend fifteen k, you can get upwards to two free nights every single year. So it's a super powerful card and one that I really want to add to my arsenal going forward like like I really want to add it <laughs>
<laughs> so number six on this list is the IHG One Rewards Premier Credit Card. This is a card that has a $99 annual fee, and it's offering a sign-up bonus of up to 140,000 bonus points plus $100 in statement credits that could be used at IHG Hotel and Resorts Properties. After spending $3,000 in the first three months from account opening, it is going to be coming with an anniversary free night certificate every single year that you keep the card open with a cap of 40,000 points, and they also mention here that you can use your points to add to the anniversary night so if there's a stay that's like 60,000 points per night you can use this free night certificate a 40k cap add 20,000 to it and you can use them together for that free stay also it's going to be coming with global entry tsa pre-check so you're going to be getting a statement credit of up to hundred dollars every four years so people have the platinum cards they're very familiar with this and then you also can get up to fifty dollars in united airlines travel bank cash each in every year you keep the card open you're also going to be getting purchase protection up to 120 days after you purchase your item up to 500 dollars per claim and fifty thousand per account so honestly a pretty powerful like literally all in encompassing power travel card for people who really love IHG properties. And again, I don't have a ton of experience with them, so let me know, are IHG worth it? Are, they, are these properties cool? For the most part, it's going to be giving you the same earnings back categories, a sign... Uh, my God. What the hell? That scared me so bad. <laughs> so next up on our list, it's actually going to be like eight or eight and a half because it's two different credit cards, that being the Hilton Honors Basic the Hilton Honors, the no annual fee Hilton Honors. What do we want to call this credit card? But it's the no annual fee basic Hilton Honors Amex credit card. Now this credit card itself does not come with any form of free night certificate, no ability to even earn one. But the reason I added it on our list is because you guys saw recently before it ended, they had a sign up bonus on this credit card of 70,000 points and the free night certificate after spending like $1,000 in the first three months of opening the card. So you could always just wait a little bit before getting this credit card because it's very likely that that sign up bonus comes back at some point in the future. So this way you can earn a free night certificate. I get it, it's not every year, it's just a sign up bonus, but but, hey, it's something. And then on to the true card of this list, which is going to be the Hilton Surpass credit card. Now, this is a card that's going to be giving you 130,000 Hilton Honors points after spending $2,000 in the first three months. Does sport a $95 annual fee, so I kind of messed up on my list here. It's the other ones were 99 this was 95 just 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 roll with me please in this credit card again if you just wait a little bit, it's also going to be offering you a sign-up bonus of 130,000 points and a free night certificate that offer also just ended but it's one i personally got over a year ago and i just know you can wait out for it and you'll get a free night certificate however there is another way to earn a free night certificate with this specific credit card and that is just to spend fifteen thousand dollars in a calendar year with the surpass card and you're going to be getting a free night certificate that does have a cap of a standard room and standard rooms are very variable but i've seen them as high as like 110 or 120 thousand points per night but you got to find it and just go in the app see if it's a standard room if it says standard you can use it if it says premium room Room, you can't use the free night certificate there. So number nine, we're back to Marriott, baby. You know, I'm really interested in some Marriott cards right now, man. So, so let's get into it. So number nine is going to be the Marriott Bonvoy Business Amex credit card. So this is a credit card that says you'll earn three free night awards worth up to 150,000 Marriott Bonvoy points if you spend $6,000 in the first six months of owning this card with a cap of 50,000 points for each free night award on this property. So a little bit higher of that 35k. So now again, you could add to that if you want to have a property that's maybe 65,000 points, you can use the free night certificate at 15k and that's the cap for that certificate. And remember what I said earlier, if you get the chase sign up bonus, you're going to be ineligible for this Amex bonus for the first 24 months. Months. So just make sure that if you've gotten that chase one, you wait two years before you get this one. This credit card has a higher annual fee at $125 every single year. But the credit card comes with a free night certificate again every single year after the first year you have the card open. So again, if you get this card today, 2024 is when you get your free night certificate, which it does have the same cap of 35000 every single night. And if you want to earn an additional free night certificate, you just got to spend $60,000 every single year in this card. I mean, you know, it really, are we, is anybody doing that? Anybody? <laughs> Number 10 on our list is when we're getting to the daddy credit cards. Now, these are the ones that have the highest annual fees on our entire list and where it's kind of getting exponential now. So we're kind of 3Xing from the previous credit cards. So the 10th credit card on our list is none other than the one that I want to get the most. You guys know and love it. It's the Hilton Aspire credit card. It's the granddaddy purple of all Hilton credit cards. It's a card that has a 
$450 annual fee, but does come with a slew of benefits. So let's talk about it. This credit card has a sign-up bonus of 150,000 Hilton points after spending $4,000 in the first three months of holding this credit card. And this card has a lot of benefits, so stay with me here. But first and foremost, this credit card is coming with a free night certificate every single year that you keep the card open. And for this series, the Hilton free night certificates, you get them again, like within a month of paying your annual fee. So it's not something where you have to wait another year to get your free night certificate. You're pretty much getting it right away. This free night certificate, again, is not uncapped. It does have a cap of a standard room award, which again, like I mentioned, it could be anywhere upwards to like 120,000 points. It really just depends on the specific property, but you really got to look around, go into the app, look at some of the stays and see if it says standard room. If it says standard, you can use it. I'm a broken record. I get it. On top of the free night certificate, you're also getting almost like another free night certificate in the form of a $250 resort credit. So that can be used at any of the resort properties that Hilton has in their portfolio. If you're unfamiliar how to find these, just type in Hilton resort list and you'll come to a list where you can kind of search whichever properties i think it's like 250 plus of them and you can see which ones are actually classified as resorts remember if it has resorts in the name it doesn't mean it's a resort property so make sure you check this website check this list and when you use the hilton aspire card to book the stay at that hotel at that resort property the 250 dollars will come off so technically if you have a stay that's a 250 dollars or less that's like getting a free night certificate every single year so almost like two free night certificates every single year for that $450 annual fee. And the bonus back categories on this credit card is going to be 14 points per dollar spent on all Hilton properties, which if you factor in diamond status on top of that, you're going to be getting base points of 10 points per dollar spent at all Hilton properties. 100% bonus on that is 20 points per dollar spent plus the 14X. So you're actually effectively getting 34 points per dollar spent on all Hilton property stays, which is massive and if you just it depends how you value your hilton points but that could technically be like a 17 plus return on all of your spend so if, so if you're a hilton loyalist and that's all you care about in life you can quite literally get the hilton surpass the hilton aspire card and cover most areas of life and that just be like literally your credit card bifecta like that's it's pretty wild so number 11 on our list is actually technically a card you can no longer apply for it's technically discontinued but there still is a way to get it of course we're talking about the infamous ritz carlton chase credit card now this is a credit card that you can only get one way. Now, the only way to actually get this credit card is by product changing. And the way to product change is actually with the card we talked about a little bit earlier. Remember that Chase Marriott Boundless credit card, the one that has a free night certificate? So what some people will do is they'll actually hold that credit card and as long as you hold it for a full year, and as long as you hold that credit card for one year, you can then product change it to the Ritz-Carlton credit card. So that's basically the way that you can actually get the Ritz-Carlton card nowadays since it's been continued. And once you get the Ritz-Carlton credit card, Oh man, let's go into it. So this this is a credit card that does rival the Aspire's annual fee. It does have a $450 annual fee to keep the card open every single year. It does not offer a sign-up bonus, so you're not going to be able to get that with this credit card, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Because this credit card comes with a free night certificate every single year you keep this card open, and this one has the highest cap. So this one has a cap of 85,000 points for that free night certificate. So technically you can get upwards to 100K stay. If you take the 85K free night certificate, add the 15K to it, 100K property, which at that level of points, that's a really insane property for sure. You're also gonna be getting an annual $300 travel credit that can be used towards baggage fees, seat upgrades, lounge membership passes, etc., and actually a little bit more. And another reason some people really like this credit card is it does come with complimentary priority pass membership, but it also allows you and an unlimited amount of guests. That's right, literally an unlimited amount of guests to bring them into your Priority Pass Lounge with you. To which I remember some people in the Venture Capital Discord actually joked about like, hey, let's really test this theory. Can we actually have a limited amount of people just have like a 50,000 man meetup and, and one guy with a Ritz Carlton card just have all 50,000. All right, boys, let's get into the Priority Pass Lounge. Everybody just piles in. How ridiculous would that be? They would shut down for, they would shut down the whole program. They would say, forget it, this is not gonna work. because. <laughs> could you imagine if there was a guy with the ritz carlton he just kept going he just had so much influence he was like mr beast and he just kept going to every party pass lounge all right fifty thousand, let's go fifty thousand, let's go just ruin them all <laughs> oh my god could you imagine this is where my mind goes just mayhem and pandemonium <laughs> 
<laughs> with these credit cards. You're also going to be getting $100 statement credit towards global entry application fees. So that's pretty cool. You're also going to be getting some rental car privileges by giving you status at a national Avis and silver car. And actually literally an insane amount of emergency coverages that I'll, I'll go over kind of briefly, but it's pretty insane. So they have emergency evacuation and transportation. So if you are a member of immediate family or injured, become sick during a trip that's far from home, that results in an emergency evacuation. You can be covered for medical services and transportation up to a hundred thousand dollars have you guys ever seen that like if you're in the middle of nowhere and you have to be medically evac from a helicopter to the nearest you know hospital hub that's uh that's insane coverage for a credit card up to a hundred thousand and it does happen more often than you would think i've seen it happen a few times in south carolina since being here people literally being evac from helicopters so those expenses being covered just by holding this credit card come on like that's insane. Now, if you could write a check for how much your family's protection is worth it to you in this kind of situation, you probably couldn't write that check, right? It's probably like an unlimited amount. There is no dollar amount, right? So wouldn't you want to make sure that your family is covered, right? So sign right here, get the Ritz Carlton card. <laughs> it's too bad there's no referrals for Ritz Carlton card. That'd be pretty cool. You're also gonna be getting roadside assistance. So if you need a tow, jump start, tire change, locksmith, covered up to $50 per incident. So four times a year, that's $200. Emergency medical and dental coverage. So if you're $100 or more from home on a trip, you can be reimbursed up to $2,500 for medical expenses if you or your immediate family members become sick or injured. I, I, this is making me want to rush and get this credit card just in case they discontinue the product change and discontinue again, just nobody can have it anymore because it just seems insane, which might warrant its own dedicated video, which I might actually do again in the future. I, I did one like a year ago, but I didn't cover as much as I'm actually covering right now. So the 12th on our list, so we're getting kind of closer to the end and now we're coming to like insane, insane annual fee credit cards. This is a credit card that's called the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant American Express credit card. And this is a card that has a $650 annual fee, so not for the faint of heart, but it has a sign up bonus of up to 200,000 Marriott points after spending $6,000 in the first six months of opening the card, so just a thousand a month. This credit card also comes with a slew of benefits, so let's let's talk about it. First and foremost, the reason we're watching this video is a free night award. It's coming with one free night award every year after your card renewal month. You guys get the drift already, it's after the first year. That's up to a cap of 85,000 points, and I actually, I don't know if I was clear, but the Ritz Carlton free night certificate, you could use it at any Marriott property out there. I don't know if I was clear about that. It's actually going to be giving you a $100 Marriott Bonvoy property credit that could be used at the Ritz Carlton or the St. Regis when you book a two night minimum stay with this credit card. Let me know too, is this easy to use? I know for the Hilton Aspire, it has a $100 credit as well, but it's kind of like a really, like a big hassle to actually actually figure out how to use it. You have to call them. It's a whole big thing and nobody ever ends up using it. So is this credit card the same way? Let me know. It also comes with a $300 brilliant dining credit. I mean, this card is genius. It's so smart. We love to hear it. So that's going to be $25 every single month for eligible dining purchases. You're going to be getting complimentary platinum status with Marriott properties, and then also 25 elite night credits towards status for this specific card. And then again, comes with just an insane Rolodex of travel protections, things like that, etc. So I don't want to beat a dead horse. So it's just a lot of, it's a lot of things. And then a lucky number 13, which no one's ever said that sentence before, but the last but not least is the Amex Platinum card. And you might be saying, Anthony, the last one, you included a card that just does not have a free night certificate. What are you doing? This is this is like the worst way to end out. But look, hear me out, okay? So let's just go over the things just as normal, right? So the Amex Platinum card right now has a pretty low sign-up bonus of 80,000 membership reward points after spending $6,000 in the first six months of opening the card. It does have the highest annual fee on our list today at $695. And the main credits here are going to be, so you guys know, I don't have to go into it, but the main one and the reason I brought up the Amex Platinum as the last is because it does have that $200 hotel credit and this i get it it's not a free night certificate but i've kind of used it as such over the years so you know this is a credit towards the fine hotels and resorts or the hotel collection but most people use it towards fhr fine hotels and resorts because you only need a one night minimum so most people will try to find a stay that's like close to 200 dollars. so it's almost like getting a Every night every single year and I stay at the same property on Valentine's Day every single year and it's about 250 to 270 dollars so I am paying a little bit out of pocket to stay there but then also the properties the FHR and hotel collection typically come with a hundred dollar experience credit so it actually comes with a hundred dollar spa credit that could be used at the spa at the hotel and that's always a very nice thing to have on Valentine's Day so I kind of deduct that against the 
stay itself. And I feel like I profit from that. And it also comes with a $60 dining credit. So you can use it at the hotel itself. So it easily more than pays for the stay whatsoever. But I added it onto this list because I know I use it every single year as a free night certificate. Okay. So, so sue me. <laughs> so what about you guys? What do you, what do you guys think for the future? Do you think you're going to apply for any of the cards on this list right here? Or do you think there's ones that I missed that you think are a lot better? Please, please let me know your experience with any of these credit cards. I really want to hear them. I'm really interested to learn. And I'm actually just really excited going forward for all of these credit cards and, and all of the different experiences we could all have going forward.